Hi guys, first things first, I'm a mess. I have like a stain right here. I'm looking cray, just trying to like move into this new house, which if you haven't seen the house tour, I'll link it down below. I felt like I definitely had to do an intro to the clips you're about to see or else it won't make any sense. So I would definitely watch this part before you watch the next part or you could be very, very confused. This is a very hard video for me to do and to release. And I originally, I was gonna release it because I was like, you know what? No, I already filmed it thinking I was gonna live in this house. I'm not living in that house, this house you're about to see the tour of. I'm living in this house now. Things definitely changed. Things got crazy in the month of July. And here I am, so living in a rental instead of living in this brand new home that I was gonna close on and it's a new construction and I picked everything. Um, also, you can kind of hear, I don't sound great. I haven't been feeling great the last couple of days. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm gonna jump around a lot in this intro because my brain is very, very foggy. So originally I was going to post the video and then I ended up changing my mind and I was just like, no, it's too much. I just don't wanna put it out there. And then somebody asked me to really, really, they really wanted me to post this and I just have a really hard time saying no to you guys. So that's what I'm doing. And I committed, I replied back to her comment and said, okay, for you I will. And that's basically what I'm doing. Um, that doesn't mean it's not hard for me to post this video because it really, really is. I spent almost a year putting this house together. I mean, I didn't do it myself, but like I spent a lot of time picking out all the stuff and everything you're gonna see in this house tour, I selected from the carpet to the countertops, to the paint color, to the shelves, to the flooring, to the chandeliers, to the lighting, to everything. Everything in this house was selected by me um, and a couple of things selected by Micah. She actually chose um, the tile in the upstairs bathrooms. Um, <clears throat> Everything else I chose and this was the home that was the plan all along. I was going to sell my Florida home and move into this home and I wrote a book about this. Um, also, just a quick update on that. Um, the books, I've already messaged um, everyone and the books have been experiencing a delay just from Amazon and then obviously me moving into this house with my shipping address issue. So if you didn't catch all of that. It's just been nuts and I'm very, very sorry about that. Um, and the books are getting shipped out this month. So they're coming to me, I'm gonna be signing them and I will be sending them directly to you. So thank you for everyone who's replied back to me and you've been so patient and that has just like alleviated so much pressure because I know a lot of you like pre-ordered this a while back and the books are coming. So anyways, my point is I disclose a lot of what really happened with all of this and with the market, the hard market that I simply had in this specific neighborhood. Yes, the market is, you know, kind of all over the place right now, but it was even more difficult in my neighborhood, I guess you could say. And it just didn't pan out. And um, so when I realized that I was just gonna lose too much money on the deal. Um, this new house just didn't happen. And that's been a really hard thing for me to like, you know, just obviously grateful, you know, like grateful to, to have this beautiful house that I'm renting and just grateful to be back home. Obviously I'm grateful for so, so much, um, but it doesn't mean that like letting go of this wasn't really hard for me because it truly, truly was and especially my office that I designed because it was, when I put this design together, like it, it's very simple, but it's just so beautiful to me and the fact that I won't get to experience it. And when I think of someone else getting to experience it, oh, that, that, that gives me a little tick. All I can say is the last two years of my life, I don't know if I should laugh or cry. Like that's, that's where I'm at right now. Um, but I just wanted to kind of preface this and let you guys know that obviously this house tour you're about to see is not the house I'm going to be living in. I designed it. I was supposed to own it. It was a new construction. And, um, and here I am. I guess 
there's just a different plan for me and I have to accept that. I have to have faith in that. Um, and I'm releasing this video for the lady who commented and asked, this is for you. And, um, and I hope you guys love this house. And um, I, if anything, I hope you get to kind of like see my vision of a home. I've never, I've never picked anything out like this before in my life. Um, so yeah, anyways, without further ado, here's the house tour of the house that I won't be living in. I'm not even gonna waste any time. Let's get into the house tour. All right, so when you first walk in, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the front entrance. And if you did not watch the previous video where I talked about my big kept secret, link it down below because this is a new construction, had a new construction built and everything you see, I chose absolutely everything. This floor, I chose everything but the brick color of the home and I'm really happy how it turned out. Again, go watch that video and I talk all about those things. But like, look at this entryway. It's really hard to see on camera and Micah, when I was traveling back and forth, Micah was not coming with me and she was seeing it through FaceTime and photos. And when she finally came, she was like, oh my God, it's massive in person. So it looks small right now, but this is the longest entryway ever. I am so intimidated a little bit by this. I don't know exactly how this is gonna turn out and decorating, but I'm gonna have fun trying. So anyways, that is the entryway wall and my beautiful floors. <sighs> This is my office and I'm just like, do I, do I save it for last? But no, let's reveal the office. And here she is. And all her stunning glory. I know it's kind of hard to kind of get the whole vibe of this. And the color of this wall is just not coming up on camera. I'm filming on my phone and it's just not, like it's so much lighter on the camera than it actually is. The color is called Time. I believe it's Benjamin Moore. Um, and it's just absolutely stunning. It, I went back and forth so much with this room. I knew I wanted these custom bookshelves done in here and I thought they were gonna be white and I actually had them as white and I didn't have beams. I had this as green, I had this as white with the floor and I was like, no, something about that didn't sit right with me. So I immediately had them add the beams in here um, and then I had them change these to black. And I knew then that that was, once I chose this color wall, the black, and then the beams, I knew exactly what I wanted this house to look like with this wood floor. So you can see, this is really my color palette right here. The brown, the black, the green, and the white. This is really what you can kind of expect to see from me. And I am gonna have a chandelier dropped in here. So, um, I don't really know honestly what happened with the lighting. I think there just wasn't time. I really came in at the last minute for certain things. So they put in a lot of these dummy lights for me just to have them in and wired, but I will be doing a chandelier in this room, FYI. And then here is my window. You can see there's other new constructions going on. And yeah, so. This is definitely going to be my favorite room in the house. Now this is picking up more of the correct color. Another thing I'm getting rid of are these doors. Um, I'm gonna be, I'll try to insert a photo, but they're gonna be black and they're gonna be like see-through. You'll be able to see through them, but the white, the white door frames gotta go. It's just not gonna be the vibe. The other thing that unfortunately I couldn't have because they were completely out of stock or black window frames. I just, unfortunately at the time, you can see the front door there, at the time that I came in, the black frames to windows were just sold out. They weren't in stock with their supplier. 
So we had to go for these. Now you're probably thinking, we'll paint it. From an outside perspective, that'd be easy to do. From an inside perspective, not, unfortunately. It's just, it would be a nightmare with all of these like pieces in here. And yeah, you can, you can see the house next door. Um, let me go ahead and flip the camera around. So just off of the office is this space right here, which is going to be the formal dining room. And I'm actually going to make this a formal dining room. You guys remember, usually I don't care to keep a formal dining room in the past, uh, but I actually want that now. So this is my um, chandelier here. I'm thinking that I'm going to do I'm not sure. I was gonna say that I might do a chandelier similar to that for the office, but let me show you this chandelier. Okay, so it has that look. And then when we flip around here, we've got this one, which is stunning. So I might go that-ish direction in my office. Again, not entirely sure, but once we kind of back up here, this is essentially See this little arch? There's a catwalk up there. There's actually two catwalks. So you can see one on the other side over there. And then there's this one I'll show you guys. When you come in this way through this little hallway, um, this is gonna be the garage. And the garage is amazing because it is a tandem garage. So it's actually a three car garage. Here's a spot here. There's a spot there. But then here is another spot here. Now they built this because this community has golf carts. So they built this to kind of house some your golf cart essentially. Um, now this house doesn't have attic storage. So I will have someone come in and install like top racks, kind of like I had in my favorite house and I'll be storing everything up here. Now I have this section too, and then like right here, um, but garage fridge will go there, and then that's extra brick um, that I'll be using for landscaping essentially. And look, a tankless water heater. Like this is, the, this is a crazy concept to me. Um, it basically means your water's always gonna be hot and you're not gonna run out. Okay, so through this door, this is just a little closet. Now you're gonna notice these freaking silver knobs. This is gonna be the first project I'm gonna take care of when I move in here. They're all gonna be matte black. I don't know how this also slipped through the design process. I just didn't think of everything. I didn't know what I could and couldn't choose. and. Um, this was something that I think that slipped through the cracks and it was just too late. So all the silver is going to get switched out for a matte black. So keep that in mind. And then the kitchen. I, I, I just, okay. So first things first, these fixtures right here, I'm not a fan of. I've gone back and forth. At first, I absolutely hated them, did not like them. Again, they were already chosen, um, so they had already been ordered, so I couldn't do anything about it. There's some that I have found. I'm more of a square girl than I am circular, so I definitely can see myself changing these out for sure. Um, but here they are for now. Um, but the floors I chose, the countertops I chose, and then I chose this beautiful wood island. It is countertop height, not bar height. Um, and then look how massive this countertop space is. But, I mean, the, I'm only getting this back wall and this, essentially, for kitchen countertop. Um, I chose the white cabinets. I chose the backsplash. I chose... I even chose this going all the way to the top because they had it cut in short and going in. I will eventually have this covered, by the way. Um, not like the vent covered, but you can have the outside of this covered. So I'm gonna do, 
I don't know if I'm gonna do a white wood to go with the flow or if I'm gonna do a dark wood like this to kind of break it up. I think I'm gonna go white. I think if I did the dark there, it, I might not like it. So it's probably gonna be white and match the cabinets um, just to cover up the silver is really, it's like a case. Think of it like, like that because I clearly need the vent to vent. It is a gas home, so I'm not a fan of that. I, that's the one thing I'm like, ooh, but there's nothing I can do about that, right? Where's there, where there's gas, there's gas. So, but I will say the stove top is absolutely gorgeous. This even comes with it. And then these drawers do pull out. They are not soft clothes. So there's that. And then my countertop that took forever to choose. I really wanted something that was just plain white. And that was a lot harder than I thought. Everyone seems to choose a marble defect, and I, I don't like marble. I just don't. And even though you can see all of these little specks up close from far away, oddly enough, it looks white. So, love that. Picked the backsplash as well. And then this is the pantry. So the pantry is definitely a lot smaller than my last house before Florida. The, the Florida house... The house before Florida, the pantry was walk-in. It was huge. It was amazing. And then the Florida house had a small pantry, and this one's a small pantry too. But you know what? I'm fine. I actually really don't need that big of a pantry. I will say, at least in this house, this is what the shelves look like. Whereas the shelving in the Florida house it had like the apartment wire shelves, and I, I don't know why they, they did that. But anyway, so that is the pantry here. And then I get all of these cabinets and my very first home with a double oven. And this whole home is a smart home. Everything is Wi-Fi. I can run this off of Wi-Fi. I can run my dishwasher off of Wi-Fi. I mean, that's new to me, maybe not to you guys, but that is new to your girl because never been able to do that. And then you can see that is the space for the refrigerator. So, anyways, lots of cabinet space up there. You know all of my mugs are going to go up there, like my holiday mugs. And then that, you know, if it's not in season, they'll go up there. And I also chose this gorgeous freaking farmhouse sink. One of the things that I realized renting and owning my own home i have never liked the sinks with the break in the middle i'm like why like i get maybe to keep some things here some things there but i've never personally cared for it and when i saw that i had an option to do this one big farmhouse sink i was like yep and this one was this girl cost me it cost me for her and then here is my faucet they still actually have some cleaning to do um, when the construction guys were in here and they were using the water, you can see um, they they definitely need to clean this or it's going to get replaced before I move in here. But I also selected this gorgeous faucet as well. And then my wash or dishwasher and this is the trash. That is another thing I'm so excited about is that I don't have to keep the trash visible. Only thing I'll say is... I don't know how to do this or what, but it would be nice to kind of like, one, it probably needs a, a knob thing, but I wish like I, I had a button and it would like pop out kind of thing. So I don't know if that's something I could do, but you will notice that none of the cabinets have knobs or handles. That's not part of it wasn't part of the package essentially with this builder. So I'm gonna be buying them myself and then I'm gonna have somebody professionally install them so that they're all even. The knobs will be different. I'll do different knobs for the top and then the knobs for the bottom will look different. They will be matte black as well. And then there is the microwave and then you can just see, let me just kind of zoom out so you can just kind of see the house this way so there's that first catwalk you can see the front door um and then this cute little desk area 
When I saw the floor plan and how they had it like decorated, it was so cute and cozy and charming and that's what I wanted. Now it doesn't look like it, but in, but in the model picture, there's actually a kitchen table that goes here. So your kitchen nook, your formal dining room, and I will be designing my home very similar in concept to how they had it. So I will have a kitchen table here and this is probably gonna have a cute little lamp and you know, the, these are going to have knobs as well and like a little a little writing desk or something. And it's just so, so cute. And I'm very excited for this space. Uh, when you flip this way, then there's this little space, which very much reminds me of Florida, but it's not as... Like, I can't put a kitchen table here. I mean, I could. I could do something like a two-person little table for sure, but I'm not going to because I'm going to do a full kitchen, well, you know, a good size little medium kitchen table here. And here I'm going to do seating. This was also how they had it. They had like chairs, a little table, lamp, some little artwork. I'm going to be doing that same concept. And then I will be getting bar stools. Once everything is put together, it's going to feel very cozy. And I don't want to say the word cramped, but once furniture starts coming in and filling these spaces, that's really what I wanted. I wanted an open concept, but I wanted it to be cozy too. So I'm so excited. Then we have the living room. These windows are absolutely everything. And... And then we have the living room. Ugh, I absolutely love these windows. Look at the beams. I did select the beams. This was definitely an upgrade. As you can see, there's another dummy light. Again, I don't know why a chandelier wasn't part of this. It just wasn't. So I'm going to be doing a chandelier like this guy, but they make this with like two levels, so a lot bigger. And I think a bigger chandelier in this space is definitely very much needed. So it's going to be dropped. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. You can see the windows are huge. There is just plenty of light. And I mean, just like, look at that view. I said power lines, okay? But... I, one, don't care. Two, I would prefer this rather than having someone behind me sharing a fence line and then they can see into my house. And that's just a, a big thing here in the Dallas suburbs. They, they build you back to back. And so if somebody were to be on their second floor looking in, they could see straight, straight into my house, straight into my backyard. Very similar to you know this concept right here but this house like that those windows are their living room so they can't actually be up there looking down into my house so i still have privacy if you will um and then when you turn this way here is the fireplace i want you guys to be able to kind of see the brown in there when i chose this i was definitely thinking more traditional I was really fighting against the fact that I didn't like the brick. I was just very like, oh, the freaking brick on the outside of the house, not this brick, but the exterior brick. And so at the time I was still very much pushing for more of a traditional route. And then once I started to kind of be like, oh, you know what? No, maybe I wanna do this. It was too late to change the fireplace. So the fireplace could actually work for a while but i could see myself definitely i don't know what i think had i gone white in the white walls i don't know that it would have been right but i do like the black ledge i even paid extra for this whatever this is called the ledge thing the hearth yeah the hearth um everything is <laughs> Ooh, everything adds up okay um and then this is a gas fireplace controlled by the switch. Let's see, get this. Look at that. And she has a whole vent. She puts off heat, I know because I tried and it's just amazing. I will not be putting a TV here. I will be putting a TV here. So also the cool thing about this house is that they built it with these. 
and it's so that you can feed your wire. If you wanna mount your TV on the wall, your wire goes here, goes down the back, and then out this hole so that you don't see the wires. If you watched the video where I told you guys how I got scammed on Facebook for selling that huge TV console piece, it's because I knew that it just was not gonna fit into this home. I knew I was building this home. I knew what direction and decorating I was going with and I, it just was no longer gonna fit. Um, so, and two, it wasn't gonna fit physically because this wall just is not big enough for that piece. So it's basically my only wall in a sense in the living room other than this. So off of the living room, then you go here and I love that there's a window here as well. Like this place has lighting, okay? And this door, again, look at the silver. All of this is going to get replaced with black mat. Um, so this leads to the backyard window, and then this leads into my bedroom. But let's go to the backyard first. I'll show you guys. So you step out here, and it is massive. So huge, so quiet as well. The other thing they did was they this back wall... The whole back wall of this house, they did double insulation because of the street behind me. So you really don't hear anything. Um, also, it's not a big main road. So yeah, it's never gonna be so you know crazy. Um, the only thing I'll say is that if I wanted a TV out here, there's really not a spot for it, um, but this is a pretty decent sized yard. They are gonna have somebody come and mow some more. And the fence is gorgeous. Look, there's even a gas line for a barbecue grill. Like they literally thought of everything. And then I have this gorgeous brick wall. Some people didn't get a brick wall. Some people got like the gate looking thing. I don't know if you can see that way down there, but some people got the, the gate. So I feel really lucky that I got this. It's much more private and a lot safer. And then there's my new little tree. She's looking great. So, and then the whole yard goes over to the side as well. And I am in a cul-de-sac too. So that was another big thing on why I picked this lot because I didn't want to be on like a major traffic street. That's not that's just not ideal for me. So here's Loki's new domain. Okay, going in this way, I'll take you guys into the master bedroom. Oh my God, it's massive. Like you can't tell, but it's, it's pretty massive. I'm trying to think if this room is bigger than my last Texas house. But I, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. It could be pretty. It could be pretty close. So as you can see, I did carpet in here, but I went with something very neutral. TV is gonna go here. My bed's gonna go here. I already know I'm doing like chocolate drapes. It's gonna be amazing. The thermostat is in the rooms, which is actually very interesting. So it's Honeywell, and they have to like show me how to use all of it. There's like a whole homeowner orientation because it's like a smart house. Um, I'm used to nest, so, but it is what it is. And it's interesting that the thermostats are in the bedroom. So this one is for downstairs in my room. The upstairs thermostat is in another bedroom. I'll show you guys. Anyways, here's these doors. I don't know if I'm going to switch out these doors as well. We'll see. And into my master bath and closet. And it's very different. I know it's very trippy and I'm gonna have to deal with like seeing, I will say that's probably the one thing maybe that isn't great is like the 50 million use from having the mirrors bounce off of each other, but it's okay. As you can see, I picked a black frame and then you can see those look just like the sconces in the dining room, so cohesive. Here's all this silver stuff. This is gonna be a nightmare. All of this has to be changed out for me to a black mat. 
probably going to have to, I want to attempt it myself, but maybe I should hire a plumber to do it if I'm being honest. Um, like this, I'll, I'll do myself for sure. But, um, uh, I mean, I watch some women do it themselves on TikTok and I'm like, maybe I could do that, but we'll see. We'll see if I want to cut corners. I went with the white cabinets in here. Um, and then these are the same. Oh no, these are little different countertops. Yeah. So different countertops. They do have to come in here. A cleaning crew will come in here before, um, everything is finished. And then here is this side. And then these are my closets. So like my towels, I realize I'm like, this doesn't have a linen closet because these are it. So all my bath products, beauty products, but I got a his and hers, but no his. So I'm just going to use his without the his, you know what I mean? So we're just going to get all the silver bits replaced, even all of this, anything silver like this. Anything silver is going to get replaced with black matte. So see here you get the black frame of the window. Can you imagine had that been black? Now this one will be easy to paint black because it doesn't open. Um, but I can't paint one black and not the others black. So for now, it's all going to remain. So here's my bathtub. Yeah, even picking this tile was so, so hard for me. But this tile is also in here. It is a backsplash, so all that got to be matte black. It's very basic, so I was kind of surprised by how basic level all this stuff is. To do this shower niche, that's a whole thing. And then the, I know it's off-centered, but that's because there's, there's certain things and insulation and blockage that they couldn't put. So, yeah. Anyways, so the shower is black. It's a lovely, uh, and they are coming in to clean it. And then here is the little private bathroom. Also gonna have to change that out, change this out. And then when you come in here, here we go, ladies. Here we freaking go. Like, look at this room. This is a, this is its own little freaking actual room. I have a room for a closet. It's wild. This is probably the my favorite closet ever because it's not like long. It's it's square and I really like that. I could definitely move freely in here. I can keep off-season stuff in this corner, in-season stuff right here. I have different sections, so I could definitely do different sections of clothing. And I could even tear all this down and do a whole Ikea system one day and really do like a whole and do like a little island where I can put my jewelry, kind of get rid of this piece, do all back cabinets, do an island. Like there's just so much like look at all this dead space that's kind of up here that I could use, you know. So all that again in the future because I'm not moving. I'm not freaking moving. I'm telling you that right now. All right, so once we come through the master bedroom, we go back in through here, through the living room, and let's go here, because this is my favorite little spot. I haven't learned all the lighting bits yet, but okay, so first of all, this is kind of like a linen closet. And I will be keeping linens in here. I want to keep, you know, different bedding and, and all kinds of different stuff in here, but linen related. Uh, this doesn't really need to be a coat closet at all. So I could have someone come in here and reconstruct and do all this differently. Because I saw this lady who she was doing a brand new construction on her house and she told her, builder she said I've always wanted a room dedicated for bed linens because you know she lived in a place where she got all four seasons she wanted a place for her pillows and her different beddings and duvets and for all the seasons and oh my god I was like why have I never thought of that again changing out the silver and then the black tile 
Once I accepted the route that I was going and this happened with my office, like I said, and once I accepted the color of the brick of the home and, and how this home needed to just go in a more modern route, I said, I'm doing black tile in my laundry room. Now, I will be probably painting this laundry room the green. I wish I would have chosen that. I would have let them do that, but it shouldn't be too hard, honestly, for me to paint this green. I'm gonna leave that white and I'm gonna do a whole nother rod and do it black, I think. And then just have my washer and dryer. I don't wanna do too much in terms of DIY in here, but I do see myself painting this the green. I'm gonna leave the trim white and then just paint all of these walls, not the ceiling, but just the walls green. And then this tile. And you guys will see my inspiration for why I chose this, but it's everything. Then we have this little room right here. This is a half bath and here's that green. This is the same green that's in my office. It's gonna be the same green I'm gonna carry in here because I want this green to live in more places than it actually does. So right now it lives here and in my office, but eventually it'll be my laundry room and possibly a bedroom upstairs. So two places, I gotta paint this, but this is a little half bath. It's underneath the stairs, so it's got the slant. Here are those same lighting fixtures, so a lot of cohesive. There's that black frame that I chose. I didn't have to choose a frame around the mirrors. It was actually an upgrade to choose that, but I did. And then these will be changed out to matte black. And I went with the brown. So this matches, this is the same wood as that. And I'm kicking myself for not doing this upstairs. And I'll show you guys that later. But look, look at this color palette. I just, and this is the truest color. This is, so imagine the office like right here. Cause right here, this is as close the camera is gonna get to what it really is. It's a little bit more muted. It's looking a little yellow right in here and that's cause of the light. All right, once you come through here, front door, entryway, office, dining room, and then we have this gorgeous open con, like look at this. Oh, let me show you the other catwalk, which I don't think I showed you guys, but it's also over here. So you got this catwalk and then you got that catwalk. So now I'll go ahead and take you guys up there. I picked everything. I picked this. I picked these with the knots. They have so many different options here. I knew I wanted this in a brown. I knew I wanted this in a black. I knew I wanted this in a cream. So you can just kind of really start to see this whole entire house flow together. So when you come up here, here's that catwalk. There's the other one on that side. There are two rooms back here and a Jack and Jill bathroom that sits between them. So this room is going to be the craft room. Originally, <laughs> supposed to be the guest bedroom, but Micah changed her mind on what which bedroom she wants. So this is going to be the craft room. This is the room with the thermostat. And then here is the Jack and Jill bathroom. You can see I have my tile here. You can see I have my black frame. Like, how, look how huge. But I wish I would have done the dark wood. Instead of the white cabinet, I wish I would have done dark wood and I wish I would have painted this green. And I'm not gonna paint, now this is too much for me to paint myself. Like with all these fixtures and everything, this is a professional needs to paint it kind of thing. Uh, but now I can't do the, the green paint because I don't think the green paint will complement the white cabinets. The green looks great when you've got the darker features. So for now, this room is going to remain as is with the exception of all the silver getting replaced. Now here is the tile that Micah picked out. 
but this is actually going to be Micah's bathroom now. But this was not her original bathroom. But she did pick out this backsplash. And once she picked it out, a lot of my design started to flood. But look, too much silver, gotta go. It's just, it's not for me. Once, and you're, I feel like I'm gonna have to do a whole nother tour when the black stuff is in because it really will look completely different. So anyway, as you can see, it's got two doors. Now this bedroom, like you see that, there is a door and bedroom. This one has a little hallway. And this is going to be Micah's bedroom. This was supposed to have, look, she's been in here reading her stuff. This was supposed to have been the craft room. Yeah, I was thinking. This was supposed to have been my craft room. That was supposed to be the guest bedroom. And, but now this is gonna be Micah's bedroom. So the closets are not great. The closets here are very small. The rooms are very small. They really use the square footage in other places, unfortunately, so I will say that. But, you know, Micah's 22. She's going to be living on her own eventually. And so it wasn't like a deal killer for me. But, and then we have this catwalk here. And when you look here, you can see this view. And then when you look here... You get the whole view of the entryway. And that's even a real window. It's not even a faux window. Like you can even get the light in from that. Okay, once you come in this way, Micah's right there. We've got a little game closet here. Not that big, but that's okay. I'm in the season of condensing. So change those to black mat. And then this is what they call as the floor plan, the game room. So this is officially known as a game room. And I also had them add these bookshelves. So this was this is this can be part of the floor plan, but if you don't upgrade and choose it because it costs more money, um, you'll just have this like indent here. And you can basically add if you want to down the line. So either you have the indent and nothing, or you have the shelving and I did decide on the shelving and I did decide for it to be white up here and not like black. I'm out of breath. So you can see there can be two places for chairs. It's probably gonna have like books and stuff. And there's not very many, there's not wall space. There's this wall and there's this wall. So I really don't know exactly what I want this room to look like. It's gonna be like a sitting area, really. Um, because I don't want to put a pool table. I don't really want it to have games. So it's most likely going to be a little seating area. Now, this was originally supposed to have been Micah's room. So very much away from the other rooms. It has its own bathroom, but she chose against it because... Oh, look, this is where I can put another TV. I didn't realize that. Um, she chose against it because she wanted a bigger bathroom. So we had actually put in the ceiling fan just for her, um, but this is gonna be the guest bedroom now, basically. It has the best view, but she chose otherwise. So, and then here's this bathroom. Yeah, it just, I get it, it's just small. It's smaller than, than all the other bathrooms she's used to. And I think it'll be, it's perfect for a guest bedroom, really. It's kind of in its own corner now. Um, so it's like a mother-in-law kind of sweet style. So anyways, there that is. So yeah, there's really not much here. And then cat walked there and the best room in the whole house next to my office is this room right here, which is my very first official official media room now if you see all these little white bits yeah i'm going to be taking those down and i'm going to be painting them this color is called true tricorn black by benjamin moore i believe so everything is going to be painted black so that you don't see it now these are placeholder for speakers, surround sound, but they don't provide that. So I'd have to have somebody come in and basically, you know, where you see these little blocks, that's for speakers. 
Um, but even the vent, I'm going to have done black and then all the plugs. So the projector will sit here and then the projector screen will be there. So it will actually be a projector screen. It won't be a TV. Um, even the plugs here will also be taken down and painted black, but the trim will remain white and then those will remain white. Um, I should have gone with a black carpet. My builder was telling me he did a house and they did all black room and black carpet and it looked really great. And I was just like, oh, I don't know. But you know what? I don't mind the cream. I think actually the cream looks really nice. And then I'm going to do movie posters. You guys already freaking know. There's going to be a movie poster here, there, and probably two there. And maybe another here. Maybe not. No, probably no movie posters there. And then just the screen. So Maybe two posters there. It's a hard one because I want it to look right, but we'll see. And then it has its own doors, which I think I might want to change out the doors to. I don't really know yet, but it's got the little step down and there are no windows in here. And that is the official tour of the house. Like, I just can't believe where I'm almost here. It has felt like the longest journey. I really thought what was gonna happen is that my Florida house was gonna sell in February and that Micah and I would just maybe do like a lease back to March and then we would just have like two months in an Airbnb here while this house finished in May. It didn't work like that. It, the Florida house really Man, that, <sighs> it was not easy. It was not easy. It is not the same market that it is in Dallas. Um, and even then it's not the same market period everywhere, but it's definitely better in Dallas. And it was just, I'm not gonna lie, it was a nightmare. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I cried a lot, but that's neither here nor there. The point is this, this is the secret I've been keeping. I hope you guys loved it and can't wait to decorate it. It's gonna be so exciting, it's gonna take time. I will not be rushing this process. So as much as I would love to just like, boom, one room, and that could happen too. Like I'm not saying it couldn't happen, but I want to find the right pieces. I do know exactly how I want most of the space to look. I'm not sure about the game room, the sitting area just yet, but I mean, I have a general idea. I know obviously I want a couch and some chairs, and um, but I know exactly how I want to do my bedroom. I know exactly, mostly how I want to do my office and my living room. So those are me the big areas I'm gonna focus on first, especially my office, because I have nothing. I'm gonna need a desk. So the desk is probably gonna be one of the first things that I buy and that arrives on top of a fridge, because I need a desk to edit and do all that stuff. But <sighs> anyways, I'm, I'm jabbering now. I know it's probably a longer video. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for decorating.